All right, let's see if it came. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna go up to the shop and show y'all what's in here. What's up, y'all? All right, so y'all saw the intro. I just got this thing in the mail. Now, let's see what's in this bag because what's in this bag is the difference between this tank becoming a bomb and this compressor tank staying safe. So let's see what's in here. Y'all don't get to see the other side for obvious reasons. Oh, look at that. Man, that thing's pretty. Look at that. This is called a pressure relief valve. And it's designed to relieve the pressure. So if something, God forbid, happens that causes the compressor to keep running, say, um, see that fitting there? Say someone bumps into that and snaps it off. Or just like, I don't know, it's kind of unrealistic, but... For instance, say you get a pinhole in something, or um, a fitting blows off in the middle of the night while you're sleeping, and you forgot to shut the compressor tank off, the electrical to it, right? So it starts up, and it starts running, and running, and running, and running. Well, that's one scenario, and another scenario would be uh, more likely if the pressure switch fails. So if your pressure switch fails and the thing forgets to shut off and all your fittings and everything are good The tank will keep running and running and running and running and running and running, right? And if it doesn't smoke the motor or the pump Your tank would explode So how do you prevent your tank from exploding? The only way to do that is that is to have some way to relieve the pressure now if you saw it running and running and running, you'd take care of it, obviously. This is designed to be a safety device, which means you more than likely wouldn't be there. So in order to save your tank and prevent your tank from becoming a bomb, you have to have a device that's going to allow that pressure to escape. And that's exactly what this does. You can see the spring inside there. There's a spring there, and there's like a plunger. And this one is going to be tough to pull out. Oh my gosh. That's no joke. Okay, well, I'll show you all here in a second once we get it bolted on. But it's a spring, a plunger, and an O-ring. And it just screws into your tank anywhere. Anywhere you can find a good spot for it is where you need to put it. Um, typically, they're mounted up high on the compressor. But, like, down here, I mean, I, I, you don't really want to put it down there. The best place to put it is up near the pressure switch, and that's where mine's going. So, this one is a high quality one. Oh, there's a little bit of packaging. This is a high quality one. This is made in USA, and I'm going to give you all a close up here. Okay, there we go. Now, the ratings on these things are important. And this is going to be really hard to see because it's a brass, but you see 200 PSI. 173 SCFM. Now, at 200 PSI, this valve will pop open and it'll let escape 173 CFMs. So, if y'all are good at quick math, um, CFMs right here, this compressor with a 7.5 horsepower motor does around 24 CFMs, right? So, that's at different RPM ranges and pulleys and stuff. Say this thing does uh, 24 CFM, right? This thing will let out 173 CFMs. So, in no way could this pump keep pumping and pumping and pumping in order to split this tank. And that's what I want to show y'all. The tank is set to shut off at 175 PSI. This right here will open at 200 PSI. This pressure tank, if you look right here, you see that label right there? It says on it, 
if it'll focus, that placard right there says that the tank was tested at 200 PSI at like 500 degrees, something like that. I'll give you all a close up of it in a second. But if you buy one of these, make sure you get high quality ones. Don't skimp out on this. I mean, it's extremely important. So I'll put links in the description. I got this off of Amazon. I'll put links down there where um, I got mine. But this is a 200 PSI. They have like 150, 175, 135, all different, 125 probably, all different kinds for your application. But you can see that, I mean, it's solid brass. This is heavy duty, so this one's really high quality. They sell one at Home Depot, but... I didn't trust it. I wanted this one that could flow more anyways. It flows like double than the one at Home Depot for like a dollar less this was. So, all right, so let's get this thing bolted up and this could save your life, honestly. I know it seems kind of silly and, you know, exaggerated, but it, it's that important. I mean, it really is. So let's get this thing bolted up real quick. All right, so we're gonna Teflon tape this thing and I'm using yellow Teflon tape. So, I'm not gonna let this video drag on too bad. We're gonna wrap it up, tighten it down, and she's gonna be good. Remember, wrap it clockwise. All right, it's all doped up and Teflon taped up, and now all you do is just find a spot. You can see where this one's going, but just find you a nice spot. And just screw it in. I mean, it's really that simple. Tighten it down, let me get a wrench. All right, so we're just gonna tighten this bad boy down. Try not to scratch up my tank because I just painted it. If y'all didn't see me painting it, check out that video. I'll link you to it in the description. Okay. All right, so she's nice and tight now. I mean, there isn't really much more to say about this. I mean, it's just install it and you're done. Uh, periodically, you need to pull it open to test it to see if it still works. Yeah, see? It goes, when it gets up to too high pressure, it opens up. <laughs> pressure drops down and closes. If, it, if, you had, if the problem hadn't been fixed, it opens back up. <laughs> closes after it's relieved enough pressure. But you get the gist of it. That's how it works. Um, yeah, like I said, there isn't much more to say about it. Let's see. But, uh, yeah. Um, there's two more on this compressor. There's one here. And then there's two on the pump, and I'll give you a shot of that. There's one right here on the low pressure side. That's at like 75 PSI or something like that. And then this is at the high pressure side. That's at like 225 PSI or something like that. It says on it, but I'm just showing y'all. Y'all don't need to know what those are set at. But see, so you have the check valve right here. So there's a valve in here preventing air from flowing back up here. So if, uh, you know, that thing keeps pumping, 
you can't rely on this because this is out of the loop. You're basically, the tank is basically enclosed. You know what I mean? It's, it's, its, own, it's its own thing. It's isolated from that. I mean, it's not isolated from this side, but the best place to put it is just right here. So there it is. And you can see it's nice and sealed up, just like that. All right, y'all, so I hope that helps out and maybe it'll save somebody's life, you know, save a compressor tank or two, save a pump. Uh, well, it's not really gonna save your pump or motor, but uh, thanks for watching, y'all. Don't forget to check the links in the description because I'll link y'all up to this. Don't forget to check out my other compressor videos and don't forget to like, Comment and subscribe for more compressor videos. Later.